Okay, so Occupy the MBTA. It doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, but Marcy, uh, what do what do they want to what do they actually hope to accomplish there by trying to take on the Transportation Authority and saying don't raise our rates? It's basically going against what the Transportation Authority wants to do. Uh, you know, they're saying public transit is really a civil right for some people. It's the only way for them to get around. And if you keep cutting services and making people pay more, then it becomes really difficult or impossible for these people to do anything, especially. Okay, so trying to draw this connection that, that public transportation is actually a civil right. And Marcy, earlier you spoke with Josh Golan, a member of Occupy Boston. Uh, now, we had some technical issues with that interview, but we were able to capture the audio. Uh, but let's take a look at it. Josh, thanks for joining us so much today. Start us off by talking a little bit about uh, the planning. Why was it that uh, Occupy Boston decided to go forth with this action that started on April 4th and uh, form this subgroup, Occupy the MBTA? Well, here in Boston, we're facing uh, drastic service cuts and massive fare increases um, that are, and, and the fare increases are targeted at the most vulnerable populations. Um, seniors and people with disabilities are gonna see their fares uh, uh, doubled or even more. And so um, we, what we did was we, we formed this working group called Occupy the MBTA. That's the name of our local transit system. And the idea was to uh, demand a comprehensive public transit system that works for the 99% and that uses its public dollars, its fares, its tax money to really uh, develop a great public transit service system that works for all of us instead of using that money to go uh, to pay off debt service and to pay off interest rate swaps to uh, big bailed out banks like JP Morgan Trace. What are some of the next steps then uh, in the future? What will you be doing this weekend? We have people uh, riding the trains every day, doing outreach and talking about what these service cuts are going to mean for the 99%. And so um, we're going to keep this, uh, this campaign going uh, through the end of the occupation and then beyond because we have until July 1st actually to stop these devastating fair, fair uh, hikes and cuts. Well, Josh, that's all the time that we've got. Thank you so much and best of luck to you. Thank you so much for having me.